Hey guys, welcome back to Ari the Stag, TR Tony here, welcoming you back to the channel. Hope you're having a really good week wherever you are and uh, all uh, excited about um, automotive and Triumph and Stags and all that kind of thing. It's a great place to be. Okay, this week I just wanted to revisit our trips to the Southwestern Vehicle Auctions uh, down in Poole. Many of you will know that we've been big fans of theirs for quite some time. Um, we've done two or three videos actually when we physically were able to get there. Clearly since the pandemic that's not possible and um, a lot of the auction sites now as you know have gone online. I think there are pros and cons against that but I think broadly it's a brilliant way of um, seeing auctions now. You can actually sit in your armchair and uh, go to a classic car auction without all the effort. Uh, I personally miss the uh, lovely breakfasts they used to do there uh, which are banned at home so that was kind of quite nice but uh, there you go such is life. But uh, anyway uh, cut a long story short there was a recent um, vehicle auction uh, down in Poole, end of last month, I believe. And uh, so today I just thought I'd walk you through some of the prices that the cars went for. I'll just uh, uh, go through on the net there and show you what's what. Um, I do get asked questions quite a lot about what the current market value of stags is. Um, and I don't really know the answer to that question. I suppose it's beauty is in the eye of the beholder and uh, all depends on what standard you want. But um, anyway, let's just go and have a look at the site. I'll, show, I'll talk you through some of the cars, I'll show you some of the prices that have gone and, and you can perhaps make up your own mind. Okay, so here is the Southwestern Vehicle Auctions home site and uh, really interesting. They're already advertising for the January Classic coming up in 2022. And what's interesting here is you can actually go back to classic car auctions, well, ones that are coming up and uh, previous ones as well. And there's lots of other advice on there. So it's a really comprehensive site. But um, looking at previous auctions here, you can see actually go back in, in time, way back to 1918, 17. I suspect we could find Harry's car in here somewhere if we went back uh, far enough. But the one that we're interested in, obviously, is the one that's just happened. I think, you know, looking at this, it's quite remarkable just how many cars actually sell. 94%, 98%, um, significant 99% there, look, June 2020. And um, what I love doing is actually just going on the website and having a look at some of the cars that have, have gone and sold. Um, obviously, we'd love to have been there, as we used to get, do here, as we said. But uh, nevertheless, you get to get an impression of what cars have gone for. So the Rolls Royce Silver Shadow there sold for two and a half grand. VW Beetle, again, 3,000. 200 a whole kind of mix of classics and some modern cars or modern classics I suppose you call them but uh, lots in there to uh, feast your eyes on MX-5 there look for £1,200 that's a real uh, fantastic price I think again without knowing the details of the car which will you can have a look at yourself obviously if you want to go on the website and have a look um, what's interesting again is just the diversity so MG Maestros for example there's not too many of those left on the road anymore. Um, doesn't look like that one's gone yet, um, but uh, maybe it'll go on, on another occasion. But they're as rare as hen's teeth now. Having driven one back in the 80s, I was very impressed with, with that particular car. And then we get to page three, I think when we first see our first stag and uh, lot 22 here is uh, Triumph Stag 1973, sold for five and a half thousand. And uh, some great pictures there you can see um, with some narrative that um, presents very well with great paintwork, excellent chrome, drives very well. I've made a number of trips to both Goodwood Revival and Classics Le Mans as well. So um, it's um, done some pretty sterling motoring in pretty high temperatures. Um, they say that the car's a bit of a mixed bag in terms of um, mechanically excellent, but other bits may need kind of sorting and doing. But um, on the flip side, there may be some welding that's requiring doing. But, um, you know, overall, I think it's a very presentable car. Correct V8 engine in there and everything. And, um, yeah, it's a very, very saleable car. So that has sold um, back on the uh, end of October auction. And uh, just look at the uh, condition. Manual with overdrive. Um, lovely V8 engine in there looking pretty tidy, I have to say. Um, yeah, what a car and a fantastic purchase. Uh, if we go back to the... Um, back to the uh, the previous page if we can then we'll see it sold for five and a half thousand pounds now that's a lot of stag for the money i think a heck of a lot of stag for the money so fantastic um prices out there i must say and then scrolling through you've got an mg bgt there for five and a half 
well, 5350 sold, uh, looks very tidy, 1967. Um, the Citroen Traction Avant, which is kind of quite an unusual car, Morris Minor Traveller and so on. So that's that's really good. And then moving on to the next page, we do have another stag going on to uh, page four, which uh, here we can see lot number 35, I believe. Here we are. Triant Stag 1973 in blue, sold for eight and a half thousand pounds. Again, that's a, a lot of stag for the money. Um, and this one uh, was owned by the same guy for 11 years, apparently, and um, starts on the button every single time, never overheated, original 3-litre engine, manual gearbox and overdrive again, with a hard top, looks really nice in that dark kind of blue colour. Um, extensively rebuilt in 1990 and given a respray in Seychelles blue, which apparently is a colour from Rolls-Royce originally, but uh, history file is huge and it includes photos, heritage certificate and lots of other invoices and MOTs. So again, one heck of a car for the money. I love the black number plates on the back there, the uh, period number plates. It looks extremely tidy inside and uh, I know the auctioneers were ecstatic about um, uh, auctioning this one because they had a huge file, um, keep you reading for hours they said, and uh, lots of other stuff as well as um, kind of heritage certificates, that kind of thing too. And allegedly the car has only done 33,832 miles in the last 35 years. Now that's one heck of a lot of um, stag for the money when you look at the prices that uh, that can be out there in the in the press and in the media and um, just very, very interesting. So yeah, going back to the catalogue again, so that is eight and a half thousand. Um, and it goes on, lots and lots of exciting other cars, a Rover 100 P4, four grand, there's a Austin Healey Frog Eye Sprite there for 8,200, so kind of a mixed bag of prices and, and whatever. And then moving on, lot 42, again, we've got a third stag here for sale, sold for 7,700. And um, again, some lovely looking pictures there of the car, looks uh, really smart. I do believe that is possibly um, an Ari the Stag badge of honour on the windscreen as well. That I've just, yes, it is, there it is, look, there you go. So um, an Ari the Stag uh, fan, so that's really great to see that as well. And uh, what a lovely car that is too. So with the um, the boot rack on the back as well. So that's gone for a real bargain in my opinion. So um, something like 7,700 plus the buyer's premium, of course, which I think is a percentage on top of that. But uh, superb uh, value for money, I think, if you're looking for a stag. And yes, sadly, this auction has now finished. So we are looking back in time. But it just goes to show what's out there, I think. And um, potentially, if you wanted to get into the classic car market, you know, there's a, there's lots of opportunity out there, really. Whether it be an Aston Martin DB7, um, uh, Vantage Volante, okay, 24 grand, but it's still a lot of car for money. I love the Mercedes 250 SL, 82 grand, okay, so that's pretty. And an E-Type, love E-Types. Again, a lot of car for the money, 48,000 pounds. And um, that's a Series 1 E-Type. And, uh, yeah, part of a private collection. It was a private collection at this event, so I think a batch of cars had gone through. Uh, Porsche 944 for 4,000 uh, there and so on. And um, there was one car I just wanted to show you before I finish, which isn't um, stag related. We've got TR6 here. doesn't look like that's reached its um, sale price. It's maybe it had a reserve on it. It's not sold for whatever reason. Um, I think I was, maybe this page or might be on page 9. I'll have a look. Aston Martin DB7, 18,000. Uh, again, amazing cars for the money. Ford Escort, we used to see these all over the place. What, £1,400? Um, I mean, you know, if you want a car with a bit of class, um, look no further um, than Southwestern Vehicle Auctions. TR4A here, 18 and a half grand. Again, lovely car. This is the one I just wanted to show you simply because XKR Jaguars, for me these days, even the, uh, the, the um, XK8s for me are the modern kind of um, E-type, if you like. And this, whilst they say on the website, wasn't in tip-top condition, certainly the photos make it look extremely nice, I must say, um, an XKR Auto 1998 um, that went for an absolute song. And, you know, they were honest enough to say that there were things that needed doing to it. I'm not sure there was much mechanically wrong with it. Um, so again, I didn't see it. There is a video there you can look as well if you like. Um, but um, she's no show queen, they say, but represents terrific value. Absolutely right. Um, 62,000 miles. Uh, total and if you look at the price £3,550. If I'd have been there, if I'd have known that, I would have bought it for my wife, I'm sure. Um, 
simply because it's such a hell of a lot of car for the money. So, uh, and again, another Mercedes 280 there, 10,600 and so on. And uh, yeah, so next one's in January. You can even buy a tractor if you want, Massey Ferguson. So have a look at that. But uh, <laughs> um, next auction's in January and uh, will be well worthwhile um, virtually attending if you can. Um, they do put a lot of feeds out with videos of these cars. Uh, they actually go around them. So you physically, if you're not there, you can see them on video. But I think you can actually make appointments if you want to, to go see them. Um, COVID friendly, obviously, and uh, physically visit the place to go see the cars in person if you want. But uh, yeah, so there we are. So that's Southwestern Vehicle Auctions. A fantastic place to go. Great people. Um, love the environment there. Just hope we can get back there in person one day soon. But in the meantime, we've seen some fantastic cars today. And uh, I commend them to the house. Happy days and Harry the Stag. All right, guys. Well, I hope you found that uh, of interest. As I say, we're big fans of uh, the Southwestern Vehicle Auctions. They've been great friends to us over the years. We actually bought uh, at least one car from there uh, not too long ago. Uh, Harry's MG BGT came from there originally, so uh, all positive. And um, yeah, it's uh, good to, I think, benchmark what the current market is doing in the classic car sector. My personal sense, and this is a personal view, is that in the pandemic, the market was extremely buoyant. There were lots of people with lots of time because we're all um, closed down and not able to go out that had an opportunity to maybe dabble, uh, buy uh, classic cars. Now, I think that was a bit inflationary and put some of the prices up. My personal sense is that some of the prices in the classic car market have dropped slightly post pandemic. Uh, why that is, I don't know whether people have gone back to work and uh, perhaps have less interest, whether it's this time of year because we're heading towards Christmas now and therefore we haven't got the bright sunny days to get the roof down and drive out and about. So, but um, it is still strong. I think the market is still going there. It's just uh, my personal view is that maybe the uh, prices have dropped a bit. So that I think is good for buyers. You've uh, got an opportunity to get out there in the buyer's market and invest in a another shiny classic and uh, as you may know we've um, recently acquired another uh, Triumph Saloon 2500S and we will be filming that in the due not too distant future uh, going up um, this weekend to go get it and drive it home so hopefully we'll get there and back in one piece but I'll let you know in a week or two's time and show you the car so all very exciting. Okay well that's about it for this week guys thanks for watching really appreciate um, your comments and uh, as ever thumbs up are always much appreciated so please feel free to to do that um, don't forget to subscribe because that means you'll get more videos as we release them and uh, also we do the saturday sockets on a saturday so it's off camera shenanigans via email just go to our website sign up and we'll get you that free of charge weekly uh, and also the Ari the stag badge of honor of course we have a window badge sticker tax disc size that you can proudly display on your car whether or not you've got a stag doesn't matter uh, modern cars classic cars doesn't matter it's all about sharing the classic dream and to get one of those again just go on our website uh, find the appropriate page and uh, we'll send you uh, a badge of honor free of charge anywhere in the world so uh, that's our plan good okay have a great week guys and uh, we'll see you online on Ari the Stag very soon have a good one all the best bye